So, hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make pizza. Super easy. Uh, it's a 650 grams of a double zero flour, then a 325 ml of uh, warm water, 15 ml of uh, warm milk, 10 grams of salt, 25 grams of uh, olive oil, and 15 grams of fresh yeast. Another thing, you will need two extra bowls because I like to get messy. You need a spatula or whatever they call it. And there's a magic thing that I don't even know the name of it, but it saves your life. Anyways, to start with, I'm going to take a little bit of the water, warm water, and put the yeast in. And you can add a little bit of milk as well. Mix it together. And we take a big bowl. We take the, all the dry ingredient, the salt, the oil, slowly adding the water and the whole milk, yeast, combine it all together. Get your hands dirty. Make sure there's no flour left in a bowl. And a nice 10 to 15 minutes kneading. The dough first appears that it's dry, but uh, keep kneading. You want to activate the gluten, so just keep on kneading. Put it back in the bowl and cover it up with a cling film. Or you can use a damp towel, it's up to you. I'll leave it sit for one and a half hour. After one and a half hour, it doubles up in size. I knock it back. You basically push it inside, like this. So you get the lovely ball again. I just want to do it super quickly. Slowly going around. So basically you're pushing out from the, from the inside and you put it back and leave it 30 minutes. So in the meantime, I've got a half an hour that will be enough time to warm up the oven. So for the oven, super easy. So go for a pan. Switch it on first. And then you go for maximum, which in this oven is 250 degrees. I'm using, a, this is called like a pizza oven stone or some sort of thing. But uh, if you don't have this one, you can either use a classic like baking tray, just flip it upside down. So and when you're putting your pizza, it will be easier for you. So in the meantime, while the uh, oven is warming up and the uh, dough is still resting for another 30 minutes, so uh, you can you can prep your toppings. Uh, for today, I'm going to do two two pizzas, uh, one vegetarian and one with meat. Uh, so for that, I made myself ready here. Uh, this is a wild garlic pesto I made myself a couple of weeks ago. Wild rocket, there's a pine nuts, red onion, parma ham, mozzarella. This is a basil that grows in, I think, somewhere near Chernobyl because I've never seen such a big leaf, whatever. Uh, this is some passata, this is optional step, uh, spicy sauce, some watercress, that's universal garnish. This is a parmigiano reggiano, the ricotta cheese. After the dough rested for 30 minutes, you can take it out. Half, half. So I'm going, to, I'm going to make two pizzas. So here it is. I'm going to save this one. You can make a nice uh, sort of Italian snacks with it, or you can make a, a buns for burgers. It's super easier if you actually do your pizzas on the baking paper. Going to put one of those in and start slowly spreading it. You can even do it in a hand like this. Once you feel there's a tin, you can nearly see through. So put it back on a baking paper and do the final stretch. So that's a, I'm going to use. Ricotta cheese, okay. and then we're going to use the wild garlic pesto. 
a little bit the Parmigiano as a base. Remember, with pizzas, less is always more, so don't overdo it. Mozzarella. You don't have to put all the toppings at the same time. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bake this base with the ricotta, the pesto, and the cheese. And then once it's baked, I'm going to finish it up with the basil, more pine nuts and some more cheese. You see how easy I can move the bases on the table when you're having on the parchment paper. This is the passata. You know, again, don't overdo it. The base, a bit of parmigiano, more mozzarella. So I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to add uh, some red onion. So the oven is ready. Slide the pizza on the top. And then I'll slide the, the pizza inside the oven. It's been just between nine and 10 minutes. I think. Ooh. And the first result. Some more cheese. I got a fresh basil. The watercress. There we go. And again, we're going to finish it with some more Parmesan cheese, some Parma ham, oh, and on the top, I'm going to use the arugula, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's nice, soft, but crunchy. So this is it. So this is how we make pizza. Now I'm going to open myself a beer and enjoy both of the pizzas. Thanks for watching, guys.